Well, we're in the lab today at Diverse Dimensions. Uh, it's Friday today, looking forward to a weekend. We got Mark and I here today, and Mike's out for the day. So, But what I've done today is, uh, what I want to show you guys is, I've got a bunch of these clips here. So I'm, I've done repeated measures on them. And what I want to do is show you guys how you can work SPC data into your measurement session. And this happens quite a bit. We'll get these, uh, these clips in from a local manufacturer and we'll measure 30 pieces at a time. So it's perfect amount, um, a perfect amount for capability studies. And I don't have a CAD model for it, but what we've got is a couple features on here that what we do is measure some parallelism and a distance. So pretty simplistic stuff. So what I do is I fixture them up and measure a handful of them. But what I want to show you is after I'm done with the 30 pieces, how we can grab all that data in one project and summarize that data and do SPC analysis on it. So I've got V14 open right now, so jump on into here with me. You can kind of see here, I don't have any CAD model in here, but I do have a couple criteria that we, uh, we typically check on these clips. And that came from a drawing. I don't have that drawing live here, so I've got these two output. Now, look at this though. If I look at my model tree and I open all the pieces, notice I've got 30 pieces of data in the same project. Okay, and I'm on piece number 30 right now. That's the sample I just completed. Now, what I do though is I want to summarize all of these just for a couple criteria. I want some CP and CPK, standard deviation, and I love the mean. So what I do is I run up to this icon right here where I've got SPC or object control of SPC. If I left click on that, notice what pulls up. This dialog box up here is all of the pieces that I've got in my sample. If I open this up just a little bit. So I've got all these numbered pieces, uh, 1 through 30. And notice all of these are checked. All of these boxes are checked. So what it does is it's saying, OK, out of this project, which pieces do you want me to summarize? Well, here I'd like all of them. So then I come down to this little area here, the results box. Check this out. It's defaulting to show me the statistics here. Notice it's not showing me any items down in this area here. There are no items to show. The way that you start to populate this zone here is, let me run back here to the tree view. Now the two dimensions that I'm concerned with, it's the parallelism of this retention top and then this dimension one. So I'm going to control and then left mouse key shift on that. So I've got both of these selected. Now I'll run back to the dialog zone. Okay, now look at this. So I've got, I'll expand that just a little bit. Now all of a sudden I'm starting to populate the criteria in through here. So this client, what they like to do though, is they like to have all of these 30 pieces summarized statistically as well as giving them back the Excel data. So I can do both of these at this, uh, at this screen right here. So first I take all of the statistics here, and notice um, every, every piece of stats that, um, that Polyworks wants to yield is all here. There's a bunch of them, but I don't need all of them. So I put my cursor right in the control row here, and then I can right mouse key, and look at all of these choices I've got. So I'm going to get rid of a couple. I'm going to get rid of the CG, CGK, PP, PPK, don't need that. I'm going to get rid of the percentages uh, that are within or without the, the side of the tolerance here. And I get rid of the largest. I'll show the min, the max, and the range. I don't need the root mean square or six sigma. I'll just get rid of those. And I'll get rid of the mean measured. Okay, so you can see here, you can pick and choose any of this criteria here to show up in this row here. All right, well, I do like that. So after I'm done picking the, uh, the output I want, I can just right mouse key someplace in this area. It doesn't matter where I'm at, but I'll punch here, right key. I'm going to report one table. I'll show you that in a second. And then I come here to the values per piece. This tab here summarizes all that data in this row format here. So if they want to pull this into Minitab from Excel or Stat Graphics, this is a pretty good place to output all of this data. So I'll do the same thing here. I'll right mouse key report one table. 
And since that's the only output I need, I can close out of this. Then it brings me back to my, to my model tree. But now take a look at this. Under my items, under the reporting items, here I've got these two SPC, uh, these two values that just came up out of what I've done in the dialog zone here for the SPC. So if I double click on this, notice here I've got this output here, that's the summary statistics. I'll close that and if I double click here, I've got all of the values per piece. And all of those will get put right into Excel. So from there, my client can take all this info and they can run it through Minitab or Stat Graphics with the, um, with the sample, the data that I send them. But um, very simple to do in Polyworks. If you've got to do a summary of your data, even if you need something as simplistic as the mean or, um, or a, a Six Sigma variable or a, a variation that came out of this 30 piece, super easy to do under that SPC. Just right or left click on that and it pulls up that whole different dialogue zone. Mm -hmm.